Hello, my divine kings and queens. I'm back to do another video. And today's message, what we're going to be going over is, I want to talk about the promises that God made to you, right? Because this is the season right now that we're in that God is coming through and he's really shedding his light on us. And he's really placing us on this path of infinite blessings, abundance, prosperity, and success. There are a lot of people that now that you're on this path, they are unhappy that you're happy. But these are the very same people that contributed to your unhappiness because they put their mouth on you. Mm hmm. See, there are a lot of there. there's there. You're in this season right now where you're learning and you're going through some of the very same things that Jesus went through. Right. Jesus knew what temptation was. Jesus went through poverty. He went through ridicule. He went through um, alienation, rejection. He went through betrayals. Right. He went through his period of loneliness. Right. And see, the thing is, you had a lot of people that were talking about you while you was going through this, when you was battling and going up against temptation, when you was battling and going up against poverty. What it say? It say foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the son of man has no place to lay his head. Matthew chapter eight, verse 20. God went through. Jesus went through poverty. He went through temptation. Right. I went looking for this and I was like, you know, when you were going through these things, you felt like you were alone, but you weren't. And I told you, I tell you guys all the time as you're going through this spiritual boot camp, you're going to be going through some of the very same things that Jesus went through because he's molding you and he's shaping you and he's preparing you. But see, the thing is, he's telling you that ain't no way I would have blessed someone who's half of the things that these people said that you were. These people are trying to curse your career, curse your life, curse your finances. But God came through and blocked all of that and he touched you and he blessed you anyway. All in this season of where you felt like this period, where you felt like I'm going through this alone. Can't nobody be this dumb. Can't nobody be this broke. Can't nobody be this. Can't nobody be this. But in the midst of you going through all this, God was right there with you. And some of these very same people who were talking about you, it's like some of these people claim to be of him. And he's sitting all these people down and he's telling them, stop playing with my name, man. My name ain't no toy. My religion, my teachings, my ways of being. It ain't no game. It ain't no joke. Some of these very same people that, that were trying to condemn you and unhappy that you're happy. Because they put their mouth on you and God came through and blessed you. And now they got to put their foot up in their mouth. Some of these people were playing with his name. Claiming to be of him. Claiming to be Christian. Claiming to be holy and righteous and just. But he's telling these people, stop playing with my name, man. My name ain't no toy. It ain't something that you just, oh, I'm going to pick it up today as it benefit me because I want people to look at me in certain lights that are not my own. Because God know how these people are behind the scenes. Let me tell you something. If it was worth a grain of salt, they wouldn't have judged you. They wouldn't have talked about you. Huh? They wouldn't have thought that what you went through in that, in that season of setbacks, in that season of poverty, and then that season of you going up against pure evil, they wouldn't have laughed at that. They wouldn't have judged you for that if they were, if they grain of salt. But they was playing with his name, picking it up as it benefit them, going to church every Sunday, putting on the hat, sitting up in the pew, catching the Holy Ghost. And then behind the scenes, grouping up together, getting other people to talk about you. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's what hoes do. Ooh, that's, oh, that's what liars do. That's, ooh, that's what thieves do. That's that that's what lame people do. That's what bum people do. That's what this is, this is, this and this and that do. But I say, never mind these people. Look at what I do though. Look at what I do when I came through for you. These people tried to curse you, but I touched and blessed you anyway. Huh? I tell you all the time, man, God don't shoot no blanks. He don't make no empty promises. When he went through handling these people, he hit it direct. They felt that. 
They felt that. Please believe it. Whoever was 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 couldn't give you loyalty. Let me tell you something. That disloyalty was returned, be it to a family member, a friend, a lover. It was returned. That disloyalty was returned so they know what that feel like. That wasn't no joke what you went up against, divine kings and queens. But let me tell you something. But I say never mind these people who didn't want to be around you. Who one minute they was rocking with you and then they turned on you and backed up from you. Never mind these people who cursed you, who betrayed you. Lord, you promised if I keep my mind on you, you'll never turn away from me, no. You'll never turn away from me. He ain't turn away from you. He looked you dead in your face and he said, didn't I tell you I was going to come through for you? Never mind who he want to walk with you. Never mind who he want to be seen with you. Never mind who, who who sat up here and rejected you, ridiculed you, judged you, laughed at you. Because look at how I'm about to bless you. Said you give me everything I need. You give me everything I need. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I pray for deliverance, deliverance I'll receive. You said you deliver me, and that's what I believe, and that's what I believe. Say it again, say it again, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You pray for peace, yeah. In peace you will receive. He'll say he'll give it to you. So that's what you believe. Stop worrying about stop worrying about these people. Because God came through for you. He came through for you for a reason, because tis is the season. It's your season. I'm going to need you to understand that, okay? I'm going to need you to stop worrying about who didn't want to rock with you, who didn't believe in you, who condemned you. I told you that what I said about out of my mouth. Probably that's not what they were saying about you, but you take it how it resonates. Whatever it is that they were saying, they was grouping up together behind your back to talk about it and to laugh about it and to judge you about it. Oh, oh. But how they look now. Because everybody in their mama had to put their foot up in their mouth. Because of how he came through for you. And he's telling you, you so worried and bent out of shape about what people did for you. You you not even focused on how that man came through for you and blessed you. He shut every single mouth up. Every single mouth that talked foul on you. That tried to curse you. Not tried, they did. You are only here by the grace of God. You are only experiencing these blessings. And this success and this prosperity because of the grace of God. Don't you get it twisted. These people wanted you out. These people wanted you out. Let me tell you something. A lot of people tried to get you out because they couldn't handle it. They was intimidated by you. But let me tell you something. God said, if you can't handle it, he get, get up out the kitchen. Who told you that you could walk up in here and try to own this kitchen to try to own what I was giving my divine being and thought you was going to run this? Thought you was going to run this? It ain't even your kitchen to run. I'm trying to tell you something. Y'all know how I come and I bring these examples, man. It's, it's like people try to overrun you. Either try to overrun you in your own household. Try to step and shine on you. Take something that you was doing thinking they was doing better than. Try to condemn what it is that you was doing. But where they got their inspiration from, God say. Where they got all this inspiration from to try to compete with you anyway? They got that from a place because how they put their mouth on you, man. They put their mouth on the wrong one. Now they sitting up here mad because they got to work so hard overtime to try to keep up. Hmm? To try to keep up with you. They working so hard just to catch up to try to keep up with you. And mad about it. Mad that for every for every level that they get to, you already like 10, 
50, 20, 10, 20, 50 steps, levels ahead of them. God picked you for this. And you're never going to understand. He promises to be with us and everything that we go through. But you're never going to understand why these people went so hard up against you. But I'm telling you, the main reason is because our people put their mouth on you. They put their mouth on you. So how they look that they can't even keep up with the person who they put their mouth on. They put their mouth on you so bad and can't even keep up with you. Can't even surpass you. They mad about that. I'm telling you, these, these people who are unhappy with you contributed to your unhappiness, baby, at once upon a time. You'll never understand it. You'll never understand why people mad that you bossed up. You'll never understand why people mad that you glowed up. You'll never understand why people mad that you got money now. You'll never understand why people mad that you balanced, that you stable now. You're not going to understand it. You're not going to understand it. You're not going to understand it. But I'm telling you. God don't shoot no blanks when he was handling these people. He's proud of you that you held on to his hand. He's proud of you that you believed in him. He's proud that you believed that he would come through for you. It did not look like he was going to come through for you, right? Because you kept praying. You kept asking. You kept you kept pleading. You like, when you coming, 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 I need you. When you coming, when you coming, when you coming, I need you. He ain't coming. You wanted him to come. He came and it was the right time. Because the way that it unfolded and the way that everything played out for your benefit, people realize now, even your enemies. He looked you. How I'm looking at you right now. How I'm looking at you right now. He ain't let the enemy have their way with you. He had the last say so on him. I'm telling you, man, people think that he's somebody to play around with. Huh? He's, he's not to be played with. His name is not to be played with. His religion, his teachings is not to be played with. If you're going to be about that, be about that. That's the thing. People was around here talking about you and your different phases. But when you chose to really step up in this phase of changing of spirituality... You didn't play with it. You ain't half stuck with it. You was really about that. That's why these people weren't able to have their way with you. That's why attacks and curses was lifted up off of you and returned to sender. Because you know what you doing, man. You ain't new to this. You true to this. I'm telling you, when God has to come off his throne, when God has to really pause things and uproot people's lives on your behalf, he ain't coming no more to try to reason with people. Like he tried to reason and send people signs like, back up, stop playing with my name, stop playing with my chosen one, stop talking about my divine one. You ain't got nothing I say, keep, keep it shut. People act like they ain't know. So God had to whoop them until they got a clue. Y'all know what I'm talking about? You had to get them old school whoopings like, you already knew what time it was. You already knew what time it was. Trying to go to your grandma, trying to go to somebody who you thought was going to save you. And let me tell you something. They played that role. Like, no, I ain't going to do nothing. As soon as you got up in that house, while they whooping you, they telling you why they whooping you. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you stop skipping? Didn't I tell you stop lying? Didn't I tell you? Did That's exactly how God's handling your enemies. I'm telling you, he didn't come down. When he had to come down and go down the list and handle these people, it was like, boom, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you to back up? Didn't I tell you to stop doing what it is that you was doing? Didn't I tell you to shut your mouth? Didn't I tell you to get you some business? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? I bet you get a clue now. I bet you stop now. I'm telling you now, man, listen, people ain't running your name through they. I'm telling you, people ain't running your name how they used to no more. They know. They know, especially if you calling it out, they like, hold on. I, I know ain't nobody told them or put them up on game, so how they know? Yeah, okay. Telling you, God said how he looked low. God telling these people when he came down, he just started handling people. I keep telling you, God don't shoot no blanks and he don't make no empty promises. He ain't going to tell you to go through something that he himself haven't gone through. And even when you was going through it, he was walking right there with you. How I'm looking at you right now. I promised 
If you kept your mind on me, I'll never turn away from you, no. I'll never turn away from you. Said I'll give you everything you need. I'll give you everything you need. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You pray for deliverance, deliverance you receive. I said I'll deliver you. And that's what you believe. And that's what you believe. Hmm. He don't play. He He's not to be messed around with. You're not to be messed around with. I'm telling you, this, all this, what I'm trying to tell you right now is the promises that God has for your life. If you stay true to the cause, you stay true to his mission, you believe in his word, you follow his word to the best of your ability, you dissect, you analyze, and you try to live by that word. He's going to come through for you because you a real one. A lot of these people were fakes and they was phonies. And see, when they line it up and they're trying to figure out why they can't keep up with you, why why they level of blessings is not on the same level of your blessings. It, it, this is a lesson for everybody, good or bad, whether they vibe with you after this or not. I tell you all the time, God's rejection is for your protection. A lot of people ain't meant to come with you on this path. A lot of people ain't meant to come with you to the next level with you. They're not meant to come with you and be with you in this season of blessings, in this season of prosperity and abundance. Because at the end of the day, would you want somebody on your team who once talked about you once upon a time? I'm talking about real file. Didn't even believe that you was going to step into it and not everybody want to pump fake because you made it. God said he ain't even bring you where he bought. You, you ain't even hit and pop yet. You about to. This right now is this is the cleaning phase. Everything is being restored now. Just because what you have right now, it stabilized you. That does not mean that this is this is all that God is bringing to you. But even in this season of God stabilizing you, even in this season of God vindicating you, even in this season of God restoring you. You got a lot of people who are going to try to pump fake, man. A lot of people put their mouth on you. And God said if you was any, anything, just a close, just an inch of what these people said you were, that should tell you something. That should tell you how nasty and what they were saying. If you was just an inch, just a half of what these people said you were, he wouldn't have touched you the way that he did. He wouldn't have blessed you the way that he did. A lot of these people spoke. From a real dark, envious, hateful, jealous place, baby. They don't like you. Ooh, they don't like you. Why they feel they got to hide it, I do not know. That's the mental imbalance in these people. They don't like you. But I told you where well, 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 I said my video, where I said they suffering now. I'm telling you, man, just, just, you know what make them happy? Seeing you suffer. But God said devil is the, the devil is a lie. We, we, even got, we ain't got to get into these people's psyche. Just the mere fact that I just told you people would get satisfaction. They did get satisfaction. And seeing you suffer. And seeing you be delayed. Seeing you just, oh my God. Some of y'all was crying, man. You like, dang, I just, I just want to live. I just want to have me a nice car. I just want to go ahead and have me a nice house. I just want to have me money in the bank. I ain't caring about all this other stuff. I ain't caring about Joe. I ain't caring about Sally. I ain't caring about Bill. This crazy. This crazy y'all want me to be happy. What did I do to you? I'm telling you, just they was happy just, just putting you in that mindset, thinking like that, being like that, walking like that. Because to keep you there is to keep you stuck, is to keep you distracted off of what God needs you to focus on. And at that particular time, he needs you to focus on your healing, baby. He needs you to focus on your healing. I'm telling you, you're not going to understand why people are so evil and just why when it come to you. But I tell you all the time, when you get deeper into your spirituality, you're going to understand that there's a lot of answers 
that you're seeking that you're not going to get when it comes to a lot of these dark, envious, fake people that you was once dealing with. But the main thing is because you're anointed, because of the covering, the anointing, the protection that you have over your life. This is why your enemies will never have their way with you. You know how to protect yourself. Some of these people thought you were so silly, so retarded, so dumb. Like you couldn't tell the forest from the trees. So busy up here trying to put their mouth on you, trying to figure out how you know what you know and trying to say what you don't know, what you don't know how to do. So shocked when you're doing it. So shocked when it happened for you. But if you was to really break down these people's lives and break down their actions and their mannerisms, it ain't going to line up to why they felt like they was justified to talk and judge you. I'm telling you. Some people just put their mouth on you. They just put their mouth on you because a lot of people was projecting off on you of what they truly were, how they truly were on the inside, what they felt about themselves. A lot of these people, man, you got to leave them where they at. Leave them where they at. Because let me tell you something. You ain't going to understand why it was always them and then it was you. You was always on the outskirts. But like I told you, you're going through some of the very same things that Jesus went through. He went through his period of loneliness, of temptation, of poverty, of betrayals. Hmm. Fix. He went through his periods. The same periods that you had to go through, being weary, being disappointed, being let down by people of whom you really trusted and really, it's not that you wanted anything from people. You was more so let down at, at how people perceived you. I'm telling you, it's like when God started blessing you, some of these people were just so shocked. <gasps> Them? <gasps> so shocked. That you had a glow up. So shocked that you being blessed. So shocked that you know what you know. So shocked that you move in the way that you move. Because they put their mouth on you. A lot of these people who talked, man, they can't even keep up with you. They can't even hold a candle to you. It, it's sad. That's why they hate you. And A part of you is like, God, like, go ahead and shake that off and get tough skin, man. You already know why. You already know why. Start looking at it as a positive. Start looking at it as a good thing. Hey, they don't like me because they can't be me. Hey, they don't like me because they can't keep up with me. What that got to do with me? It ain't got a thing to do with me. Because I already know anything that come up out their mouth. It's not going to hit me. It's not no direct representation of me. What they feel about me. What they say about me. That does not count. It don't matter. Because you know where it's coming from. You, you, you know it's coming from a place. So it's like God was trying to show you too. Some things that you have to go through, you think God going to hold your hand through it all. It, some things, even though he's walking with us, it's for you to get tough skin and understand. This is why he's showing it and revealing it to you. And it's not to discourage you or get you down. But let that motivate you. Like, okay, let me just keep going harder. You feel me? I tell you all the time, never let nobody, don't let these people see you sweat because they watching heavy. They watch, They own it. They more so own you than they are on their own life. It's sad. It's sad. But it ain't changing nothing though. Because I told you where these people, where they head at and where they soul at. And you already know that you're on a spiritual journey, man. You already know what path you're on. You already know what comes with this. What this entails. So now that you know, yeah, start moving different. You already know what's up. You already know what's up. So stop asking why. Stop dwelling on who didn't walk with you, who put their mouth on you. Because a lot of people got their mouth shut. I mean, sealed tight. At any given point in time, they want to bring up your name, they're going to look stupid. They're going to look stupid because they can't compare it. Where God brought you to, where he elevated you to, 
where he took you after these people put their mouth on you? They look like a straight clown trying to clown you. I'm telling you, man. Because a lot of people, a lot of people ain't going, they not going to believe the hype. You got some people who still going to try to go up after you. got some people who probably going to believe the lies. You got some people who ain't going to want to hear it no more. They ain't going to be, be associated, with no, associated with it no more. Because because how God brought you through and where you are right now, you're nothing short of a miracle. Seeing is believing for a lot of people. It's sad it had to get to this point. It's sad you had to endure your suffering and pain and alienation for so long. But this is why you're being blessed the way you're being blessed. See, a lot of people need to mind how they put their mouth on you and what they say they want. How they, it's okay to admire somebody and like how a person living their life. But see, it becomes a problem when people become so obsessed with it to the point where I like, I say, they became so obsessed and it just, they wanted to see you, it wasn't happening no more. They kept watching, trying to trying to see, okay, boom, maybe, and then they're going to lose it all. No, it never happened, and it's never going to happen. That period of delays, of setbacks, of losses, of defeats is over. You went through that already, and you came through, and you came out punching, kicking, winning, flying, because God kept elevating you. Every time they thought they was, ooh, then, let me just get a leg so I can just yank them down. God went on ahead and got these fools up off your path and elevated you higher. For every time that the enemy and these devils think that they're going to keep trying to go up against you, I tell you all the time, all they're doing is hurting and delaying themselves. Because for every time, God said, I got a trick for you. Every time you think and you want this person to, to fail in life, that's just how much I'm about to bless them and elevate them. And that's just how much you about to be delayed and hurting and suffering. Keep playing with it. Lord, you promise if I keep my mind on you, you'll never turn away from me, no. You'll never turn away from me. Said you'll give me everything I need. You'll give me everything I need. I'm telling you, boy, he came through with the money. He came through with stabilizing you. He came through with the monetary gains, with that success. In every way that the enemy tried to curse you, God came through and touched you and blessed you. Say it ain't so. In every way that the enemy thought that he was going to have your way with you, God came through and sat up here and broke them chains and released you and freed you. In every way that the enemy thought he was going to put their mouth on you and what they say was the gospel, God came through and said, man down, stand down, check yourself or you wreck yourself when it come to this one. Who, who is you? Who is you? Last time I checked, I run this here. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they got the gall. It's like I say, these people really had some balls. Really, 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 really had the audacity thinking that they could put their mouth on you. I'm telling you. A lot of you going to be like, David, Terry, like, no, I'm, I'm telling it like it IS is. I'm telling it like it IS is. You know why they thought they were so powerful, so much better than you? Because of how you were suffering in your low moments. And this is why God say, look at how every single last one of these people judged you. He wanted you to see it. This is the only reason why you was going through that moment. He wanted you to see, look at, look at how family do you when you doing this. And you, they judge, watch everything, judge everything. But don't nobody don't want nobody to judge them on theirs. I'm trying to tell you, boy, you hurt feelings, boy, if you went down the list with some of these people. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you'll hurt feelings. You really would. That's why God had to sit and say, don't worry about it. Listen, let them talk. Let them talk. Because cause where they at right now, they ain't talking now. I hear crickets. I don't hear no talking. I don't hear no commotion. When God told you, close yourself off. Heal. Even in this moment right now, he really wants you to protect your energy because it's a lot of people you think everybody's supposed to be happy because you happy. It ain't go it don't go that way. A lot of y'all ain't gonna understand, like, well, why they can't be happy? Dang, I will share, I'll do this, I'll do that. When people 
are messed up. I'm talking about seriously. When they messed up in here, it, it ain't right. It ain't right for whatever the reason. I keep trying to tell you too, the devil is on a mission. Even if people at once upon a time was rocking with you, I keep trying to tell you, you be wondering why one minute you think you got something good with a person and then sit up here and they turn on you. The devil is trying to get the people, man. Get the people to try to get to you. These people he's able to get to because they're not as spiritually connected and grounded and as strong as you. That's why he trying to come up the masses to try to come up against you. I'm trying to, I'm talking about trying to lay it on thick through gossip, through word of mouth. Through he say, she say, through delays, trying to get people. I'm trying to tell you, he was trying to get people on every end. But God still came through and blessed you. And he kept his promise. He kept his promise, baby. He said he was going to come through for you. I tell you, that man don't shoot no blanks. He don't shoot no blanks. He don't shoot no blanks. And he don't make no empty promises. If he say that he's going to bless you, he's going to give you. What you pray for, please believe it. You just got to sit around and you got to wait. And while you're waiting, you're working. While you're waiting, you keeping the faith. While you're waiting, you praying. While you're waiting, you doing what you got to do to protect yourself too. Huh? People can't be happy for you. And these are the very same people that contributed to your unhappiness. But don't you worry about that. Because a lot of people in the end. They can't talk what they going to say without looking stupid. How you going to talk about somebody who winning? How you going to talk about somebody who met getting their money? How you going to talk about somebody who looking good? How you going to talk about somebody who up on it? How you going to talk? If you going to talk, make sure you up on it. Make sure you doing it on a, on a better level, on a higher level. They know they not. This going to be close. And let me tell you something. That don't mean that the hate gone. That just mean... They can't group up people no more and talk and run your name and run your name and run your name around people. This is this is this is what I'm saying. See, they was doing stuff behind the scenes, but God sat up here and elevated you and blessed you for everybody to see. That busted up, that blowed a whole lot of people covers about what they were saying about you because now people can see firsthand. Oh, dang, that's what they're talking about. Dang. What they what? What? Well, what is they talking about? I don't see what they're saying. Yeah make these people look stupid and make these people look stupid but i said who fought is that who who told them to sit up here and talk anyway who told them to sit up here and talk and run your name and run your business anyway <laughs> the nerve and like i say god came through and kept his promises to you i know it's not easy and and just if you if you don't do nothing else I'm going to tell you right now, them tears you crying, I hope they tears of joy. I hope they tears of joy because of everything that you was able to overcome. And where you are and where God placed you and brought you right now at this point in your life. I hope them tears you crying is tears of joy, baby. I hope them tears you crying is tears of joy because of where you are right now, how you living right now, how you feeling right now. Don't take lightly what you've been through. God didn't take it lightly. If he could have came through sooner, he would have. But he had a plan. And he sticks to that plan. Just like I tell you, he don't shoot no blinks. And he don't make no empty promises. He was very calculated in how this went out and how he handled this. He wanted everybody to get it all out. Say whatever it is you big and bad enough to say. Do whatever it is you feel like you big and bad enough to do. Because the way that God came through and blessed you, it made a lot of people look silly and stupid for trying to go up against you and even and, and, and thought that they even had a, a, a place to speak something about you. Like, for real. That's dead. That's null and void. That's over. That is dead in the water. Because of how God came through for you. So I, if you don't promise me, listen, you ain't got to owe, owe me nothing, man. Just let them tears that's flowing down your face right now, let them be tears of joy. Play your favorite song. Huh? Do your worship. Because you made it. And you're here. 
And can't nobody stop that. Can't. Don't be humble. But at the same time, pray for these people. But in knowing that they're not going to stop, like I say, they're going to get sick. They're going to get sat down. They're going to get sat down. Because, like I say, nothing that these people tried to do, they did everything. They pulled out their best moves, weapons, got the best of the best with these skill sets and knowledge. It couldn't penetrate you. It couldn't break you. It couldn't kill you. Oh, but you felt that pain. But what don't kill you make you stronger. What don't kill you make you wiser. What don't kill you, it propel you. It elevates you. Hmm? These people, like I say, so smart to they dumb. Thought they was doing something, didn't even understand. That them betrayals, that, that them lies, them gossips, everything, all that time, all that time, all that effort, huh? Just to have to sit back and still watch you get it. And they thought they was going to kill you and take you out. This was your, that was your initiation phase. It initiated you. It got you on your journey and allowed you to tap in man now you for sure for sure it listen the things that you know now what you know how to do now let them try it let them try it they didn't even understand that was the very thing that you needed that's what helped you grow they thought they was burying you. But in a way, they gave you the very thing that you needed so that you could step into these blessings that you're in right now. Ain't that funny? God turned everything around that these people meant for evil, turned it around for good. And stop them dead in their tracks. Lord, you promise if I keep my mind on you, you never turn away from me, no. You'll never turn away from me. Said you give me everything I need. You'll give me everything I need. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I pray for deliverance. Deliverance I'll receive. You said you deliver me. Yeah. So that's what I believe. God came through for you. He kept his promises. And he handled and sat down your enemies. Every single last one. So stop your worrying. Because it ain't nothing but good things coming your way. You're on the up and up. And I want you to understand that if you need a friend, you got it in me. If you need love, you got it in me. If you need inspiration, motivation, a life example, you know you got it in me. Y'all know I'm your sister. I'm your friend. I'm your confidant. I come with that real, never that fake. I keep it 100 with you. I keep it a buck with you. Huh? We ride together. We slide together. Keep bringing others to the JC game, man. And until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed. I love y'all.